G'day legends, this week's video is going to be looking at a single surfing image I took a while back when I was based on the Coffs Coast. If you haven't heard or seen of me before, my name is Tom Woods and I have been a paid surf photographer since 2001 and have been a full-time professional photographer since 2004. I am now committed to teaching others um, how to take better water photos and find a dream life through photography. If you are interested in this at all, I have links below to videos that have some valuable free and paid content to explore. Now, let's get into the story behind this image. There are a few things going on in this shot which I really like. The luminous morning light is definitely the main ingredient. That morning had some of the most dramatic and breathtaking colours that I've ever photographed from the ocean, but there are some other factors that add to this special moment. So it was actually raining while I was loading up the housing this morning and only 10 minutes before this actual image was taken, there was some heavy uh, summer storm clouds rolling around the sky, which always adds extra dimension to any photo. But when a gap formed just above the horizon to let in the first rays of sunshine, um, the most amazing light studio materialized. It pushed vibrant oranges into the heavy brooding clouds and the water went an electric combo of green and gold and I was tingling all over. These are the moments a photographer gets up every morning and roams the shorelines every evening to try and experience um, this sort of thing happen. So I had the amazing light and now I had to get a foreground to complement this epic scene before it disappeared. Normally an empty wave would be more than enough but the surf was uh, really below average that day so it wasn't going to cut it. Then I saw uh, one of the locals, Mick Taylor, take off on one of the better waves of the morning, a little maybe two footer and it wasn't an epic wave by any means but there was just enough power in it to allow a little pocket jam and at the perfect distance from my 50mm lens, much closer and it would have reduced the amount of that beautiful sky in the picture. As Mick moved into the carving manoeuvre, a surfer paddled into the bottom right hand side of the frame which fortunately set up a much stronger composition. The out of focus surfer looking towards the surfer in action leads the viewer's eye perfectly towards the action and that amazing sky colour. The paddling surfer also created some extra depth to the image at the same time. It was a lucky compositional moment that really made this photo just a little bit better. As soon as I clicked the button, I knew I had a shot. I knew I had my shot for the morning. It was only later that I realized the surfer looking on in the foreground was actually Mick's son. Having him in the frame puts the attention into the scene even more. And the fact that I captured a special moment with father and son meant this shot instantly um, held more meaning for the subjects involved. And I'm proud to say that they have this picture shadow box framed in Australian oak and hanging in their house. That stuff lights me up. Sometimes it's not the shots of the professionals or the shots in the magazines that have the most meaning. Sometimes it's uh, just knowing that you have captured a special moment between family and friends. My camera info for this shot was it was taken on a 5D um, with 50mm lens and an Aquatec water housing. Uh, the shutter speed was at 1 640th of a second, aperture at f4 and the ISO was set at 250. Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's instalment. If you like surf, water, travel or seascape photography then please subscribe to this channel and shoot through any questions and requests for future videos. And if you would like to get access to the free 40 minute training, then see the links below to get started. Cheers legends and I'll see you soon.